Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Today I want to talk about a very serious Android problem you might get if you were like playing with custom ROMs and like, you know, went wrong and you bricked your phone, then this might happen to you. Can you read it? Encryption unsuccessful. Let me read it to you. Encryption was interrupted and can't complete. As a result, the data of your phone is no longer accessible. To resume using your phone, you must perform a factory reset. When you set up your phone after the reset, you'll have an opportunity to restore any data that was backed up to your Google account. But, even though if you hit reset, you get back in the screen and there's no way to get out of it. So how to fix this? Well, if you get this on a Motorola, you know, I never had the Motorola, Motorola, so I cannot tell you exactly how to fix it, but I will tell you how to fix it for the Samsung phone, okay? And I want you to listen very carefully because this is, this happened because you tried to install firmware on it and your Android inside, he died. He's lying on his belly now and his belly's open and, you know, it's all loco. So you must get it back to life. So what to do? Well, in fact, there are two ways to fix it. You know, you've been playing with custom ROMs and, you know, the problem became out of that because this will never happen to an Android system that was not, you know, um, used to try to root or do whatever with so, for instance, if this is some Samsung phone, then you know that Samsung phones can be put into download mode. To get your phone into a download mode, what you should do is turn off the phone. When it's turned off, then you will press the volume down. I'm not going to do it now. You're going to press the volume down. You're going to hold down the home button and then you're gonna press the power button to turn it on okay so when you did that you will become into a download modus a download modus is a modus that is in the phone to you know to restore back to original so the second thing that you must do and i will not go find it for you you must find it yourself or you should tell me what phone you have and you should be so uh, uh, depending on help then of course I will help you because that's what I'm doing on my channel I help all my people that have a problem with some device so after you put the phone into a download mode the next thing that you must do is get Arden for your phone you know uh, just look up the firmware for your phone so for instance if you have a Samsung S3 then you type uh, original firmware for the Samsung S3 S3 download and then you will find some links and then up there you will also see that there will be a kind of explanation how to do it they will talk about this what I just told you to put the phone into a download mode and then you know um, after that uh, you started up your Arden. Arden is a little program that you must start up in Windows. I think you also have it for Mac. I'm not sure, but this is for Windows. Let's talk about Windows. And then um, you know you must connect your phone after you put it into a download mode. You will see download mode a yellow thing saying download mode and then um, uh, you will see that Arden will connect to the phone you will see that uh, you will get some uh, something saying found connected phone Samsung S3 or whatever and then you will find instructions which uh, which one of the buttons you should 
WordPress and then look for the firmware that you downloaded, you know, of your phone, your Samsung phone, and then import it into the Arden. And when it's there, you know, you hit, uh, you hit reset the phone. In Arden, it will show itself, you know, then you reset the phone. And when you did that, you know, the phone will start uh, going back to original. You will lose any jailbreak that you had on it. I mean, root. If you rooted your phone, you will lose your root. So the phone will be brought back to original. And if you still get that error, if you still get an error, but I don't think so, then you must try to find another kernel. There are several kernels, and by installing one of these kernels also via Arden, you know, your phone uh, will be fixed, you know, and then you can, it will boot up, and then you will have a new Android. Of course, everything that was on the phone will be gone, but at this moment, your phone is gone. So you can get your phone back, but probably if you didn't make no backup to your Google Drive or Cloud, you know, then everything will just be gone. The stuff on your SD card, however, will still be there, so you don't have to worry about that. You can also leave the SD card inside, it's not about that, you know, uh, but that should fix the phone and should bring back the phone to uh, original. However, if this also doesn't work, then we have to do something else. Then we're going to put the phone into, uh, into not download mode, but into recovery mode. And for the recovery mode, we turn the phone off again. We turn it off. And when it's off, completely off, then you first hold down the volume button up then you press the home button and then you press the power button the power button will be the last button to press you first start with the volume up home button and then power button that's how to turn the phone on and then you keep holding that and then you will see that uh, you will get into a recovery mode in the recovery mode if you're if you can get into recovery mode then up there, you must wipe catch, wipe Dalvik settings, and wipe uh, 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 all user settings. And then reboot the phone. Don't try to install other firmware. But I think this will not, that will not fix. This will not fix your phone. You must first, first with Arden, you know, install the original firmware back to the phone the one that goes along with the phone and if you then still get that error then you know you can try to go into you know a recovery mode and then wipe the dial fix settings and wipe everything you know because then uh and also the clear catch because then you know uh your operating system the original one will get the chance back to you know to start up in a normal way because something went really seriously wrong on your phone otherwise you would not be getting this terrible terrible error saying that your phone is bricked so peeps um yeah i saw another guy on youtube talking about his motorola i didn't know what to do but for motorola in fact it's the same what you should do is uh, see how to connect the thing to you know to the computer and see how to get it into some uh, download mode you know I, I have no totally no experience with with motorola but i think it's all the same you know there must be some boot loader modus or some you know uh, kind of mode that you should put the phone in when starting up pressing some buttons you know will bring it in some kind of state that you can uh, get the phone back to life i don't believe that um your phone is dead even though it has this because uh, i fixed mine as well and uh, mine is working just fine again and i did it in the way that i told you and i'm gonna tell you one more time the first step is of course to turn off the phone 
put the phone into a download mode you do that by pressing the volume button down the home button and then the power button then you will get in a download mode the minute you are in a download mode assuming that you already downloaded the firmware that you need for your particular phone so if you have a s2 or a s3 s4 you you need firmware for that phone you also need a version of Arden of that phone go to the original site i think it was uncle sam or sam sam something go to that site i will find it for you i'll put the link here for all your phones there all your samsung phones so you can go ahead and find your firmware uh download it you know uh connect Arden and um see uh, in the description which one of the buttons you should press to scroll for the firmware that you downloaded point to it you know then the firmware is finished connect your uh, phone to the usb to the computer the program you know arden will say thing found phone you will see connected and then you can press like uh um you know re reinstall of restore or whatever it's called you know um your phone so peeps this is it i'm not gonna make this video any longer i explained two three times i think in a very easy way how to fix your phone back and how to get rid of this uh yeah terrible terrible error i never saw it yet at uh samsung phones because <laughs> samsung phones there was one guy with a samsung he was talking about this problem it was the samsung fascinate yes he has it with the samsung fascinate but if you also look at how to um how to jailbreak and how to install custom firmware on the on the fascinate then you will see that it's kind of different than uh, with the samsung s2 or s3 you know you need to do some certain steps uh, otherwise you might kill the phone but i killed many android phones and i brought them back to life so i don't believe that your phone is like useless it can be fixed every phone can be fixed you know um yeah you just need the right tool to do it and in samsung we have right tools to do it we have arden and Arden is a great flash tool and you don't have to worry your phone will be fixed again however if you don't know how to do this and uh, you want uh, me to fix the phone for you then of course you can send the phone to me but I live in the Netherlands um, you must make sure that it does not cost me any penny that I don't have to pay for the post and for the whatever but if you send it to me I will make it on cam you know and i will send it back to you and uh yeah it might take maybe one week maybe two but then your phone will be back and you will also have a video of your phone online and hey how great would the trust be if you guys would just like send me your phones and i would send them back to you you know with particular problems that you don't want to but i'm sure there's somebody there in your neighborhood that can do this what i just said so you don't no need to send me the phone you know or you must live uh, not so far from uh, from me here in uh, the city you know then you can come to me and i help you but um yeah i'm just explaining how you can do it yourself and in fact that is what youtube videos are about to learn from somebody else how you can do it yourself so yo uh, try it out and let me know if it worked out for you if it does not work out for you tell me what you did wrong or what you did that it did not work for you because for me it did work and my phone is just back to you know to original and i'm not jailbreaking it or rooting it anymore it's just fine and remember um the more you root and the more you jailbreak is uh, the less safe your phone will be you know and um yeah just see it this way it's just like a computer if you're on the internet with a computer running a uh, full administrator rights you know anything can happen to you on any website that you visit um yeah sites you know software trojans uh, worms uh, whatever spyware just gets into your computer and because you're locked on with administrator rights you know uh, because you opened your your uh, f fully rights in um in the computer management or you say that uh, administration management uh, you will be very vulnerable for everything to happen to you that while if you're using some uh, some account you know on your computer internet account that has no rights to install anything you know 
um, just browse and work but you know nothing can be installed on the computer then you are way safer because then uh, viruses won't be able to take over your system because uh, you're not locked on as an administrator but you know all these devices were all locked on as administrators and I think that is a real yeah dangerous thing because everything can happen to everybody while being on the net so think of my words what i just said let me know if this information was useful if it was of course you know what to do to my next video bye bye